Hi everyone, this is Ajay. In this video, we are going to see uh, about e EE prom in Atmega 3.2.8 and uh, using Arduino, I am going to uh, give you some inf uh, informative uh, things about EE prom and um, uh, this will help you understand how EE prom works practically and I will uh, also show you how the data are uh, written and read and I will show you something interesting also. Keep watching this video. And uh, first of all, we'll discuss about EE from in Atmega 3.2.8 that uh, is in your audio mode we have Atmega 3.2.8 um, that is, uh, it has a memory of uh, memory of 1 KB and uh, uh, single bytes can be written at read and it has 1 lakh uh, write and erase record. Um, so, uh, let's get into the ID and I'll show you the examples already available in our ID that is under uh, file examples you can uh, see EE from and uh, here you have uh, many examples that is EEPROM clear, EEPROM CRC, get, iteration code, read, update and write. So we will discuss about EEPROM e clear and uh, I will show you my, my own examples with read and write. And uh, I will also discuss about EEPROM get and code um, with uh, my own code. Uh, here uh, we will first clear the uh, EEPROM uh, memory that is we will use this uh, EEPROM clear so I have this example already here so I am going to upload this code to um, Arduino Uno I have connected my Arduino Uno you can see here it is connected COM2 and then I am going to upload now so once it is uploaded uh, you can see it is uh, like after upload you will get this LED on so this is your output and uh, after this, now I have an example EEPROM test. I am going to just perform a uh, read uh, to check whether the addresses uh, like the locations are cleared. So, what I am going to do is just comment these lines, it's going to write, and I am going to just read some few locations around six locations. Let's see. Or we will even read 10 locations. So I am going to just read. Now you can see uh, EEPROM size is 1024 and uh, the, uh, we have different address. Here it is binary representation 0, 1, 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, uh, 4 and 5 and so on up to uh, 10 locations. And we don't have any uh, data. It's um, uh, it is clear. So now what I am going to do is uncomment this block and uh, here I have two arrays that is array1 and array2 you can see this uh, I have some variables uh, and uh, I have an array here and uh, here I have LMS AB 1, 2 and see ASCII values and uh, I have another array that is array2 E uh, F G H I and what I am going to do is just write 5 elements 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 then you have 5 elements here I am going to write it in the locations where you have uh, W count as 0 so it starts from the first location then ends up in uh, the first location and then we are going to read it back after writing so I am calling array 1 so I am going to upload this code now. Let's read. See the output here. And you can see uh, address location as 0 as A and 1 as B and uh, then 2 as 1 and uh, address 3 as 2 and address 4 as C. So we have 5 locations filled with the elements. And the total size is also mentioned here with the uh, E. Now, instead of array 1, I am going to write array 2 to the same memory location from 0 to 4 and we have EF, GHI and uh, each of these ASCII values are going to be written and also we will change this uh, pin to just leave it like R count so that we can read the memory location very well and now I am going to upload this code. Let's open the serial console. Now you can see uh, address 0 is E as E and address 1 as F and you can see the binary earlier it was binary now it is changed to decimal value 0, 1, 2, 3 locations 
and then the data E, F, G, H, I has been written from 0 to 4 and all the 5 elements have been written and you can use uh, ma maximum that the maximum size is 1, 0, 2, 4 or that is E from dot length shows e, the 1, 0, 2, 4 which is 1 KB we can write as many number of data there and you know the um, right array cycle is 1 lakh cycles uh, um, or uh, right, right array cycles so you can write as many number of times there and then uh, follow we are only reading um, uh, like the location from 0 to uh, 11 so 12 locations uh, we are reading so 12 locations from memory now what we are going to do is um, uh, see that uh, we know that um, EEPROM is a non volatile memory and we will check that what uh, we are going to do is I am going to come on this these lines and just upload the this is the read part of the code like we are going to read from the EEPROM so I am going to upload this code Now, here you can see my board is connected to COM2. I am going to disconnect the board, that is, we are going to power off the board. So, the EEPROM should retain the data. Now, you can see board is not connected, and I am going to connect it again. So it is connected, so it is powered back again. The code earlier, which was uploaded, is the read code. Now let's uh, open the read con uh, the console and uh, read the data. And now you can see uh, at location zero has E and F, so the data is retained. So it is a non-volatile memory. So uh, even if the power goes off, your data is retained in EEPROM, so you can use it for that. And next, what happens if we write to the uh, address location that is above one zero two four? So Assume we will use the same function here that is EEPROM re write function. And we will write ASCII A that is to location 10 the maximum size is 0 to 1023 so you will write it at 0 1024 again we will write another data x 1025 so now I am I, uh, my uh, you can see uh, that uh, but uh, at negative uh, to uh, three to eight we have only uh, zero to one zero to three okay that is one zero to uh, two uh, one zero to four that is um, the total uh, locations and we have one uh, the size is one kb now we are writing to the location that is one zero two four and one zero two five and then we are going to upload the code and we are going to read it. Now we can see we are reading from 0 to 12 and we don't have a location that is 1024 and 1025 and I am going to just show you the output here. Now you can see when we write at the location 1024 it affects at its location A and then 1025 it uh, 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 updates and it affects to say um, our address location a address location 1 that is it changes this value to x so it means it's a simple concept like the total size of the memory is here uh, a 10 bit that is 1024 when we write uh, 10 to the location 1024 uh, it, uh, this, uh, we have uh, the 11th bit so the other part becomes 0 the rest of the bits become 0 so the remaining 10 bits so it writes to the 0th location it's simply understood uh, so uh, when we are going to write um, use a code and just use some iteration variable and write like this be sure uh, uh, like we are not exceeding the limit and if we exceed the limit this is what happens that is um, it goes right to the first location again and uh, you can see the E and F which was already there is um, updated or um, uh, now 
you can uh, you can uh, say that is updated or affected simply so now it is changed to uh, replaced with a and x so your uh, data gets affected so you uh, we should know the limit uh, size limit and we should be cautious when writing the data and uh, this is uh, what we are uh, seeing in eprom write and eprom uh, read functions and next we are going to look into eprom put and get function so let me close this and here in file example in eprom you can see eprom put eprom put is used especially for this float uh, values like uh, we are writing data to uh, the memory a prom memory and uh, each memory is of uh, we can each in each memory we can write only a single byte and if we write float we know float uses four bytes and uh, now we have this float value and this function that e prom dot put has uh, used to write the float uh, function and you e prom dot get is used to retrieve back the float uh, data from e, uh, the eprom after using uh, eprom.put function so what we are going to do is uh, only use eprom.put um, and i will show you something keep watching here eprom floating point i have uh, another example i have provided in the code here you have uh, float val 1.234 and uh, what i am going to uh, do is uh, write a e prom will write from zero to uh, start from zero to location so i am going to just uh, type e prom output the, uh, your address location and your value value is uh, val val this is val let it be val1 and this be val2 and we will make this val1 and val1 is 1.234 and it is a floating point number and it is going to store four bytes um uh, as per uh, you have learned in C programming, what is the range and the size of uh, float integer character? And now for a float, it is going to be four byte. That is um, each in EEPROM you can see each uh, from the, the each locations uh, can store uh, the data of a single byte. So it should use four uh, locations. Uh, so that's what we are going to see now. So what I'm going to do is upload uh, this code, and we are going to read from zero to twelve location and uh, let me upload the code now you can see here uh, you can uh, discuss this value because uh, it was earlier written um, we were using uh, EFGHI and uh, that is what uh, is uh, used here. So you can see one, 182, 243 and 157 and 63 it is used uh, zero from 0, 1, 2 and the fourth location it has used 182, 243, 157 and 63. Four locations has been used now. So what I am going to do is uh, show you another uh, value that is let's, let's take val2 and you will understand it much better. Uh, I'll, I'll remove this binary uh, representation on console so we'll have a simple uh, decimal number and I'll change this to val2 and we'll start writing the from location uh, 6 or let it be location 7 now 7, 8, 9 and 10 we'll, it, it should use 4 bytes from that location and let's upload this code So uh, earlier we had 4 bytes which is utilized and this is from the previous code and now uh, now you can see from 7th location it is 160 then the 8th location is 26 and the 9th location is uh, 7 and the 10th location is 61 and the 11th location is 0 so uh, here uh, the value is 0 the rest of the location uh, because it is clear but it uses only 4 bytes and you know that float uses only 4 bytes so it, here also it uses only 4 bytes and how do you get this value is based on the floating point representation um, that is uh, we have I, I be standard for that and uh, here it is 32 bit representation we have 4 bytes so it is 32 bit representation uh, where 23 bits are used for the mantissa uh, and uh, we have exponent uh, and then we have the sign bit also 
and uh, based on that this value is converted to um, binary and then that is stored as uh, in uh, 4 bytes and that is the value we get here in order to understand that you have to go uh, you have to go check uh, check out uh, floating byte representation and how the value is converted and stored um, so i wanted to show uh, explain these things in uh, eprom so this is what uh, this is what i want to explain and we will meet in another video and you can also try this and uh, try one more time so that you can uh, understand how it works so we'll meet in another video thank you thanks a lot